Lovely to be here, thank you. Um, the Stowe Foundation believes in supporting social innovation, new ideas, new approaches. We are open to take risks and believe that is the responsibility of philanthropy. To take that first plunge of support, be that catalyst for change, and to encourage others to join forces on this change. I've got three big ideas that we support and I'll, I'll explain why. We believe they have the potential to change um, and transform our communities and they have great benefits. Each of them share our values and our purpose and each of them got off the ground because of a great idea, great people, tremendous hard work and a little help from us. Homes for Homes. Here we go is a social enterprise that will raise new funds for social and affordable housing nationally. It does it by property owners agreeing to make a 0.1% tax deductible donation when they sell their property. For example, if you have a $400,000 property, 0.1% of that sale price is $400 donated to Homes for Homes to support others who are homeless and it's something everyone can participate in. We backed Homes for Homes with a significant multi-year grant a few years ago. Three things stood out. Huge potential to fill that growing shortage of housing. The model was proven in the States and there's a high calibre of people involved. This year Homes for Homes becomes a reality. Our support has extended into our family business, Capital Estate Development. It made a commitment to embed this initiative across an entire new suburb, Denman Prospect, with 2,000 new dwellings. <coughs> Our hope is that the Homes for Homes caveat will sit on the title of all of those dwellings. And this community will be proud to be part of the solution for reducing homelessness. So far it's been received well. There's been 150 settlements, the majority with the Homes for Homes caveat in place. And in these first three years, $1.5 million will be generated. Donations initially coming from Capital Estate and the builders and then later residents. Because once that caveat is in place, every time the block and then later the house is sold, a donation will be made. And of course, residents have the right to remove it at any time. All donations will be invested back into social and affordable housing in ACT. So we hope Denman Prospect is the beginning to many more houses, suburbs and cities with Homes for Homes in place. Good360 connects companies with excess products to charities. Think Oz Harvest, but distributing product, not food. Clothing, furniture, bedding and toys. It's making our supply chain more efficient using excess products and avoiding them filling up our waste. We supported Good360 because it's a game changer. It's a solution for companies, charities, individuals in need and our environment. Plus it's been proven in the US, they move $300 million worth of products to charities every year. Integral to Good360 is the IT giving platform that enables charities to shop online. We originally made a large commitment to the platform and following the build, we led a collaboration of eight funders to support the first three years of operational funding, pulling together $1.5 million over three years. Good360 has been operating since March last year. They've received $11 million of product from 40 retailers redistributing to $2.5 million of product to 500 charities. A local example is Dad's Place, a weekend home for dads and kids to meet. We gave them a free membership and they received beautiful bed linen, men's toiletries, nappies, $20,000 worth of goods and they paid a small price for the shipping. <coughs> Good360 has the potential for transformative change. Last one is Global Sisters. It enables women living in disadvantage to be financially independent by helping them establish small, home-based businesses. These women may be refugees or migrants facing barriers to enter the mainstream employment. Language, cultural barriers, financial exclusion. 
Our support began some years ago to develop the concept and now they provide a complete business package encompassing business education, mentors, and I've got to get off the stage. We love it and Pran's in the audience and she's, she's now working in Canberra so it's here. And in closing, we're honoured to be working with these social entrepreneurs with big dreams. We love being on the journey for social innovation and social change. Thank you.